Hey guys, what's up? This is Spaffboy and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Euro Truck Simulator 2 with the Satec Wheel. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. Last time out we did an excellent job with uh, some pressure tankers from Luxembourg. No, Strasbourg to Luxembourg. So let's see what we've got on offer today. I was going to buy a truck with a loan today, but I decided against it. So let's see what we can get. They're not great mile per mile prices are they? 39.91 Luxembourg to Luxembourg no <laughs> that'll be why 1924 what was that one? cars from Strasbourg to Mannheim mm -hmm. excellent could be on 21.25 another pressure tag nah not doing that one 21 Oh, looks like we're going for some cars. Two and a half grand, not too fast. Strasbourg to Mannheim, and we are in the DAF XF Euro 6 base. Not my favourite truck, but. Give it a go. So it's from Strasbourg again, but at least we're going to somewhere different in Mannheim. Let's take it on. I hope you guys have been enjoying it. And let's have a look around at what we've got. Look at the cars. Beautiful. In the DAF. So let's ignition. Power. There we go. Windscreen wipers. We're probably going to need uh, right where do we need to go here? Do we go that way? Uh, I think we go that way. So let's go that way. Parking brake is, is off already. Let's put it into gear, shall we? Cool. And off we go, on our way again, out on the road. I think the reason I didn't go for buying a truck in the end was because I... Was because I kind of thought... I like driving all these different types of truck. So, why would I go and get myself one just yet with that big of a loan? I hope you can understand, but maybe now we're at the point where you guys can tell me what trucks I should be looking at. I do like a Scania, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you can't buy online, so I'll have to go to the Dresden dealership if I am to get one. Um, so it's, do I want to go there? Why wouldn't I? But maybe that is what we'll look at at the next, in the next episode is, let's put some lights on, I got told off this last time. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe maybe next time you guys can help me choose a truck. So I think I can get up to like a four hundred grand loan, but do I need that much? Probably not. But we should go. Oh, it's stopped raining now, and we can probably turn them off now as well. So we want to stay in the right-hand lane here because we're coming straight off. Look at that. That's cool. towards Metz and Ream again. So this isn't very heavy. It's got it's seven tons apparently. There's a lot of cars there for seven tons, but maybe my maths isn't very good. <laughs> right, so we're going straight on, so we probably want to get out of this lane reasonably quickly. So we're back up to fifty six mile an hour cruising speed. Which is good, should help us with getting it there on time. And then we're probably going to look at adding um, long distance to my skills. Holy crap. <laughs> I nearly, nearly wasn't concentrating there. Um, yeah, I'm going to add long distance. So we're doing some longer journeys because these are pretty short. But I think that's good for this kind of stage in the series of the Let's Play. 
um, while I'm getting used to it, which I think I am now, I'm definitely getting quite a bit better. Still 56 miles an hour. Jeez. Keep away from these barriers. It's very easy to lose concentration and run a bit wide. Like that. This is fast for a narrow dual carriageway. Especially when there's traffic lights. Tight right here. Towards Mannheim. Negotiated that alright. Certainly better than the, quarter, the first quarter in my last episode. Where I kind of thought I was still playing Dirt Rally or Project Cars. Kind of flicked it in. <laughs> Bit fast. But oh well. Right, 50 miles an hour because we're on a single trackway. Let's try and build this speed up. Shouldn't be too difficult as it's a pretty light load. Alright, big time Charlie Bananas. You go overtake. Good lad. Going uphill, so I'm not actually getting speed now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start to go downhill in a second, so that should improve. What time are we going to be again? At quarter past four. If we're in the summer, I won't need my lights. If it's the winter, we will. It definitely looks like summer. <laughs> Come on, get up to 50, although 50 is going to be quite quick. Sweepers are, are okay, it's tight corners that are the problem. See that at 49 was not a problem, and I don't think this one will be either. The corners coming up look like they could be a bit more tricky, but I'm loving the scenery around here. It's, it's cool. Maybe just ease it off a little bit for this corner. Looks a bit tighter than the last ones. So um, <clears throat> while we're travelling along now on a road where I don't have to do much, <laughs> um, let's talk about the channel. So I'm uh, in the process of getting my channel art and logo updated. Um, the logo and the channel art that are on it currently is what I did a year ago when I started this channel. And now, you know, I'm a bit further in, um, I've got a lot more subscribers, and I just don't think that it cuts the muscle anymore. So I've got a, uh, a friend of mine who's very good with Photoshop, he's going to be doing me some new channel art, kind of a rebrand, if you will. Um, and I hope you guys are going to like it, and, you know, it's one of those things where, does it really matter? Ultimately, probably not, because it's the quality of your video which gets your subscribers. But you know, you want people to be, you know, to realise that I'm a quality YouTuber. Let's say that you know I have a consistent schedule now. I try and do at least kind of one a day now. One every two days is what I is my minimum now. I feel like I really pushed on over the last kind of couple of weeks because works quietened down a bit for me. So I've got a lot more time, and I've been able to kind of build up a backlog, maybe with some hangover gaming, <laughs> or hungover gaming should I say, I've been able to kind of build up a um, kind of an archive of videos that I'm now uploading which is great, I'm getting out kind of one video a day at the moment but as I said I'm looking for one every two days as an absolute minimum. So hopefully you guys can appreciate the fact that I've you know, got my act together a bit, I'm updating things, I'm um, yeah, updating the channel art, I'm doing a more consistent um, upload and more importantly I'm now putting a lot more time and effort into social media so I'm on Twitter Facebook and Instagram um, he's waiting for me um, Facebook Twitter and Instagram all just at Spath boy so if you are interested in my day-to-day -day stuff or interested in what videos and stuff's coming up then please do go and check it out follow me on them and you'll see uh, kind of behind the scenes, let's say, some screenshots of what I'm going to be uploading. Um, 
to hopefully kind of push this channel onto the next level, which I'm really hoping is going to be, you know, 5,000 subscribers very soon and then beyond that, who knows, hopefully we'll get up to 10,000 by, by the end of this year, uh, by kind of mid to end of the year next year, that's the plan, speeding now, slow down. Um, and that, that's kind of what my plan is and I, I think that I'm definitely now more focused on you know playing these simulators and also sim racing because sim racing is as I said kind of my background it's where I came from it's still what I love doing but I also still like playing these more detailed simulator simulator titles um, so hopefully you now know that that's what I do I might throw an indie game in there every now and again just for something a bit different but Simulators such as Farming Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, European Ship Simulator, uh, Pro Cycling Manager, all those sort of things are what I'm focusing on with sim racing as well. So hopefully with all of that you guys you know, look at me as somebody who's trying their hardest to make the channel as good as possible for you guys because this channel is for you. I know I keep saying it but I make the videos to uh, to give you guys enjoyment. So. It's very much a, I'm looking for input from you guys um, going forward. But we are pretty much at the destination now. We just need to get it turned in and parked up. So let's see what we can do. There we go. Rabin. Rabin. Okay, so if we take a big sweeper into here. Oh, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> this will test my skills. Uh, we want to go that way, yes. As I said, small inputs. This is going well. I put the wrong way. Look at that! Hopefully that was a good job. Yes! Excellent again. 51 litres, so 88 miles, so it was a pretty short one this time, but um, I seem to get a lot off my chest. So proficiency bonus level 3, high value cargo, still rank 2, to get a bit of extra money, fragile cargo, bonus for parking the trailer. All good in the hood, so yeah, next time we're probably going to be looking at buying a truck. So I really do want your guys' input. Um, we're going to be going to a Scania dealer because that's the only one that I've discovered as of yet. That's fine by me because I like Scania. Um, but hopefully, as I said, you're enjoying it. Please like it, subscribe for more. But for now, in this episode, that is going to be it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.